Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of Cars News. So, go get some popcorn, go get a drink, and without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the new um, toys and like die cast for 2021 or 2022, excuse me. Um, so all these toys uh, and like stuff, most of the stuff in this video is from Cars Diecast Reviewers video um, that I saw and I was able to get the screenshots from the video. So first up we have Floyd Mobihill and Krusty Rotor. They are in a two pack together. Um, the packaging is way different than what it used to be. Um, now there is no name tag and it looks like the cars are actually um, like in a plastic thingy, right? And like, I, I don't know how to explain it. You guys can see the picture on the screen right there. Um, you know, there it looks like there's some depth um, of the plastic right there. So I'm guessing that they took out um, a piece of the plastic. So you know how when you open up a car, there is the, the bubble, that's the outside. And then the inside is that little uh, plastic piece where the car sits. Um, I think they kind of molded those two things together and then put it there. Um, now there is a white background right there. Um, right behind the cars themselves, the diecast cars, and with the word metal, the metal logo, it's on the white thing. Now, uh, for these two, it appears that they're at some sort of racetrack. Um, you know, of what I've heard, it could be Thomasville, but I'm thinking this might be just some um, um, racetrack that um that you know that we haven't really uh that we haven't seen before in fact it could maybe be the copper canyon speedway probably not but um you know there's a little theory of what it could be um yeah so as i said they got rid of the name tag as well so they have the names as a like tire tread right above the the bubble and yeah so next up we have mcqueen and mater and appears it appears that um, Mater actually has a longer and more functioning tow hook. Now they, um, they changed the mold of the tow hook only. And Mater just looks like, you know, regular stock standard Mater. And, um, so McQueen has this really cool expression here. And it would be awesome if we got that expression on this McQueen. But I'm guessing that this McQueen is just going to be a regular one. Um, you know, stock standard McQueen. And we have the new for 2022 little banner thingy on the right side of the packaging and right under it we have a picture of Mater um, the back of Mater you know is Tohook um, pulling holding onto McQueen showing that it is a functional and there is a play feature on this Mater and McQueen um, for some reason okay there we go Next up we have Ramon, oh wait, hold on. Um, the background of the McQueen and Mater is Willie's Butte, it looks like. And it's the same thing for the next one, which is Ramon and Flo. Um, over here we have the purple Ramon and a regular Flo. Nothing too like interesting about these two, you know, it's just Ramon and Flo. Um, yeah, that's it. And then, Finally, for the two packs, we have Maddie McGear and Melissa Burnerbreak, which is her mom. Um, yeah, it appears that they are at the the racetrack um, right here, the racetrack background. And, you know, you just have a picture of Maddie McGear and Melissa Burnerbreak right there. 
And then next up, we have the 2022 singles case A. Um, some cards that have been leaked. We have Fillmore. Um, man, I always forget this car's name. I, I searched it up on Google the other day. I'm gonna have to search it up again. Um, let me see. Cars 3 Demo Derby Purple Car. That one's name is, if I can find it right here, I think it's Liability. I could be wrong. Is it Liability? Yes, it is Liability. All right. So, yeah, so we got Fillmore, Liability, uh, Kurt with Bugs, Miguel Camino, Shunta Hiroki, and Mater. Looks like it's a regular Mater. I'm not sure if he will have the new toe hook on his single. Um, next up, we have Case B, which um, we can see that there is a Rusty Screws Ramirez, a Sally, a World Grand Prix McQueen, Hall Ingus, Holiday Hotshot McQueen, and a regular Jackson Storm. Now, I'm not sure if this Cruiser Mirrors at the top um, is a track damage version or the regular version. Um, by the looks of it, I think it's the regular version. Um, we also have Sally, as I said, and maybe, just maybe, they'll um, make this Sally as the accurate version that they made in 2018. Probably not. They're probably just going to re-release the, the one that they made this year. Um, yeah, so for case, I think, yeah, next to up, we got case C. Which we have Fillmore, Mr. The King, Lightning McQueen, Davey Apex slash Dave Alternatives, um, Liability, and Jackson Storm. Um, for McQueen over here, he doesn't have the Rusties on the spoiler, so I'm guessing that this is a old uh, picture of McQueen. Next, we have some 2022 oversized case A. That's what it says. I'm guessing these are the deluxes. Um, now I'm just going to read everything that this says. Cars Oversized Vehicles 2022 Mix 1 Case of 6, $51. Okay. Uh, image coming soon, so there's no image yet. Uh, Pre-order at the cart. Yeah, you can pre-order on, uh, I think this is the Entertainer. Next we have Mini Racer Singles Case A. Uh, we have The King's Last Race. I'm just reading what it says here. The Racing Tractors, UFO Mater, Radiator Springs, uh, Derby Racers. Wait, those are two different things. Radiator Springs is one thing. Derby Racers is another thing. And then International Adventure. So the King's Last Race, it could be a damage to the King. That'd be kind of cool to see as a mini. Uh, racing Tractors, that's pretty broad. It could be anything. Um, any of the Racing Tractors. UFO Mater. I'm thinking this means Mator because we did get a picture that was um, leaked of Mator, a mini racer of Mator from UFM, unident unidentified, un I, I think, how do I say that? Unidentified flying Mator. Yeah, that's how you say it. Radiator Springs, um, again, it's pretty broad. It could be anything. Derby Racers, same thing. Could be anything of the Demolition Derby Racers. And then finally, we have International Adventure. Now, one idea I have is that this year in 2021, they released a um, Siddeley as, um, if you don't know, Siddeley is the spy plane from Cars 2. Also, if you haven't seen my Cars Unanswered Questions video of why was Cars 2 bad and how can we fix it, go check it out. It will be in the um, car suggestion pop-up on your screen right up there. Next we have, um, yeah, so the International Adventure, I'm thinking maybe it could be Stevenson, um, the, that train from Cars 2, could be that, or maybe, maybe it could be a yacht, one of the yachts, that would be kind of cool to see as a mini. Next we have the Color Changers 2022 Singles Case A, they got uh, one of Jackson Storm, two of McQueen, one of Fillmore, two of Intro Ramon, and two of the Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Um, we've seen Jackson Storm before. This McQueen, I'm guessing that it's either going to be a Cars 3 McQueen or the Cruise McQueen. Um, Fillmore, we've seen before. Intro Ramon, I heard that he was already released. Um, I, let me see, have I found him yet? I'm not sure if I have found him yet. Um, I, I may or may not have seen him in the store, but I just don't remember. And then the, the only new one here is the Fabulous Hudson Hornet. And what I like about this is that they're including two of them in each case. 
Oh, uh, yeah, two of the Fabulous Hunts and the Hornet in case A. So, you know, it's going to be, I guess it's going to be pretty, um, like, widely available to get that new Fabulous Hudson Hornet color changer, which I will definitely try my best to pick that up. Um, next up we have a Track Talker's Sheriff. Nothing that interesting about it. It's just a Track Talker's Sheriff. Um, next we have um, some other pictures that I've had on my laptop for a while that are of um, some new 2022 NASCAR racers. Um, we have McQueen and the HTB racer. Now we don't officially know his name, so um, it, you know may, it could be Kyle Busch, but it could be somebody else as well. Um, so the different thing about McQueen is that he has different rims, and uh, you know he kind of has the Miguel Camino ri uh, rims. So let's get a side by side picture right here of Miguel Camino, and then this McQueen and his new rims. There we go. And then the HTB racer, um, you know, they changed his number to 18 from 86. Um, let's see. It was kind of unexpected because we all, a lot of people thought that, um, that like the next one would be Taco Mint and like maybe Kyle Busch, Taco Mint, but it appears it could be HTB. Yeah, uh, he also has those new, um, Miguel Camino style wheels. Next, we have the new for 2022 NASCAR Bubba Wheelhouse. Now, there's a lot of different things about this guy. Um, first off, he's purple. Second, they changed the name of the sponsor. I think this is the first time that they've, that Mattel or um, Disney Pixar have like done something like that. They changed it from uh, Transberry juice to Torxberry juice. Now, if you guys have any ideas, maybe of why they changed it, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. In fact, I can make an entire Cars Unanswered Questions video about that topic. In fact, that will be Friday's video. Yes, on Friday will be an episode of Cars Unanswered Questions. Why was why they changed the name to Torxberry juice? Um, now, at, at the moment, we only have this picture of, um, you know, of Torxberry juice and all that. So, maybe, maybe there's more to it. Um, but yeah, when I make that video on Friday, um, I'm basically just going to base it off of this picture that we have right here. So next up, um... Here are some pictures that are all uh, together. Um, I took a screenshot from one of Disney Docket's posts where he um, where he said that um, a person named uh, Abby. Let's see. Okay, it's either at, okay, it's A B Y. So I think it's Abby F. Um, uh, please forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. But I think it's uh, La 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 Naga, La Ra, La La Ra Naga, I think. Uh, I'll just put the name on the screen out there. Um, yes. Yeah, so Disney Docket and um, and this person are the people who I'm gonna uh, give credit to for these pictures. So yeah, these are some pullback racers, right? And I'm guessing these are like, um, I'm guessing that maybe these could have been found in the U.S., but, um, I'm guessing that maybe they were found in like, I don't know, maybe some international country. Um, the only cars that I see of these pullback ones are Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, uh, Strip Weathers, aka The King, um, who else do I see here? Oh, Sally as well. Um, yeah. Let's see, where are these? Oh, these are made in China. Okay. Um, oh, okay, this Doc Hudson is really just like reminding me of that McDonald's Doc Hudson from like 2006. It, it looks really weird. Yeah, so next up we have 
if I can find the pictures, the new Disney Plus Day pictures that were released last week on Friday. So they had this whole Disney Plus Day event where a guy named Pete Doctor, who I guess is like Disney's uh, Disney Plus representative, um, yeah, he, you know, said, well, um, he announced all the new stuff for Disney Plus, and he was the same guy who did the stuff for the Disney Plus, or uh, I think it's the Disney's Investor Day, um, a while ago. So right here we have an official name for the Cars Road Trip series. Uh, it is Cars on the Road. Here's a picture on the screen up there, as you guys are seeing. And honestly, I really like this logo. And uh, I cannot wait to see the, um, the one, the new show, and two, all of the diecasts, if there are going to be any, um, about the show. And another thing, if they're going to make the diecast, when are they going to do it? Because the show is coming out in late, uh, like, like in autumn of 2022, right? So my question is, um, like, when are these new cars going to be released, if they, if there are any new cars at all? So next we have a, um, okay, I have three different concept arts from the show. This first one, um, it shows two gigantic dinosaur cars, right? Chasing McQueen and Mater. There's a volcano erupting in the background. Um, let's see. So it appears that, so McQueen still has the same shape. Um, him and Mater have like these spiky wheels. And uh, this McQueen reminds me of that, um, that McQueen from the Radiator Springs 500 and a half. Um, yeah, that's what this McQueen reminds me of. He has like a little overhang on top of his head. Uh, th it kind of reminds me of um, that like hat Smokey that, or maybe like kind of like a hat that Mac would wear, but like for like a McQueen sized. Mater also has that. Um, also it looks like he has a gigantic toe hook as well. His toe hook looks gigantic. Um, yeah, so next up we have McQueen being chased through the woods by a gigantic um, big tire car. I'm going to call it big tire because that's what I'm guessing it's going to be called. Um, you know, because like Bigfoot, big tire. Interesting picture. Next up, we have a really... Okay, this picture, um, I cannot describe it. I really just... Like, there's so much in here that it's hard for me to literally, like, process what is going on. I have no idea what could be going on in this, in this one. All I want, all I can say is, like, you know, like, what I see. And, like, this just reminds me of Cars 2. Um, the, the fact that they have, like, are these, well, are these, like, flamethrowers? It could be, like, guns? Um, I, I, re I really don't know. It, it just looks really weird. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go from left to right. Um, all the way on the left, we have a car in the background with some, like, fire behind him, or maybe on him. There's a giant cloud of smoke, um, all behind the cars. There is another character that is, um, next to this car that has, like, a, like, a feathery crown on um, and it kind of looks like a Hudson Hornet model. It could be a Hudson Hornet model, could not be. But, um, yeah, no, it reminds me of Leroy Hemming. That's who it reminds me of. Or like one of the, one of those like new old style, um, 50s racers. Um, and there are like four tiny cars carrying this one car with the crown on. Now above McQueen, there is a gigantic monster truck looking car that has a flamethrower or a gun um, on top of his head. Um, okay. Now, on the far right, we have another car who looks like a lemon. It kind of reminds me of Otis a little bit. I don't know why. Um, that, that character from Cars 2. 
it looks like they have this one has a hammer um also has like like a crown thingy of like leaves or something the spiky things um and then also has a either flamethrower or a gun now let's take a look at um mcqueen here mcqueen has all these like shields and he has like um long fenders and he also has like some feathers like metal i think these are metal feathers um that are on all these cars yeah and the it looks like his spoiler is kind of big too uh, and he also has a new um like a big um like one of those pop out engines um yeah and now we look at mater i'm surprised this mater was not in cars 2. he looks like he could have been in cars 2. so let's start from the tow hook in the back in fact he doesn't even have a tow hook he has more of a spiky ball a, a i guess a, a spiky toe ball um attached to him uh his entire side has holes in him it looks like um his like front bumper had it, it's a really weird looking bumper um let's see right on like his um like right in front of it of his right um what's it called right mirror he has this like um i don't know maybe it's a light i'm thinking it's a gun probably and then on his top he has a uh, like flamethrower gun thingy honestly with this last picture i'm kind of like disappointed because i would have thought that like disney Pixar would have learned a lesson after cars 2 um that like i don't know i guess at the moment i kind of can't judge a book by its cover because we we only have like three different concept arts and it's gonna be an entire show so, yeah, uh, next up I have an animated image of a Mater, actually. And Mater, it looks like he built himself a rocket. Or, well, he turned himself into a rocket. And, oh, he actually has hubcaps. Mater with hubcaps? I never thought I'd see that. Uh, yeah, so he has two boosters, and he looks like he's about to launch into space. Or maybe Mars. Yeah, maybe maybe this scene is on Mars. Um, next up we have a um here's a screenshot of a um of a tweet that uh, I got from Ned Wheeler's community post tab. Um so I'll I'll put a link to his channel in the um card suggestion pop-up and in the description below. So it says Disney Plus um this is a tweet from them it says rev your engines owen wilson and larry the cable guy return to voice lightning mcqueen and mater in the hashtag disney plus original series excuse me cars on the road streaming in 2022 um hashtag disney plus day so yes owen wilson and larry the cable guy will be back to voice mcqueen and mater um now my question is who else is going to be here? Like, are we going to see characters from Radiator's Rings? Like, Sally and Mate Cruz is... Look, this takes place, I think, after Cars 3, right? So, it would make sense for, like, Cruz and maybe Jackson to be in there. Um, you know, one, two other characters I'd like to see would be the King and Chick. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. another one I'd like, I'd love to see. I would love to see Francesco in here as well. If Francesco is in the show, even if he makes a tiny little cameo in the show, I will be so happy. So yeah, that is all for today's video. Wow, 20, 25 minutes going so far. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, tomorrow's video, let me go and look at my schedule so I can make sure I have it right. What's tomorrow's video going to be? It is going to be a review of the regular Cars 1 Chick Hicks. Um, this was a suggestion video made by Leon Plays. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will be 
the review of Chick Hicks, <clears throat> the regular version. So thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you will never miss when I upload a new video. Also share this video with your friends so that they can know about my videos and maybe they'll want to subscribe as well. So thank you all for watching. This is Rusty's 95 signing out. Bye.